Well, welcome you guys to Butler Kennel Rock Waters. I know it's kind of dark out here right now, but I want to show you guys the new addition to the family that was just born today. I just got a little chance to see. Hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. Look at the newest addition to the family today that was just born. Walking away like it just owns everything. It is a male calf. Male calf. Move, mama. Let the world see it. So we just had a new baby calf born on the ranch. I feel like the rancher now. <laughs> now I got a... Uh, hey, hey, hey. So he was... Why does my camera look so... Well, it was nighttime, so... Um, what's up, Eric, Tamika, Malcolm? What's going on with your bubble? I know it looks dark, you guys, but as you can see at nighttime, I'm pressure washing my dog kennels a little bit more daylight than this here, honestly. And as I'm pressure washing the dog kennels, I look down the hill and I see four of my cows. I have four of them, well, I have five of them. So I saw four, and all of a sudden, I wish it was daylight, you guys could really see. He's so beautiful, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, sorry. It's kind of distorted, but you get the idea. It's a miniature cow. So these cows are already like, they come to my hip. So they may look full grown. Like, I mean, they are full grown, but they look pretty tall and big. But these cows literally come to my hip area. And you see that little booger right there. Somebody has to name them. So, you guys give me a name for that little joke and I promise you, I'm going to use the person that gives me the name I like the best with and I'm going to gift you guys a t-shirt. If you're already on my list and you're getting a t-shirt anyway, I'll give you another one. So, that's my gift to you guys, man. I want one of you guys to name this male calf. I think it's a male though, I'm gonna be honest, I think it is a male. I see the little male part, I think. So, right now, uh, it'll have to be right right now, This on this video. You guys can write some names. Don't text me the names, you guys. Don't message me the names. Just write the names on this right here. Um, and the name I do choose, I will announce it. I will screenshot and I will let everybody see that this is the name that I use. So it's such a blessing to see this little booger, man. I know it's dark. I just wish it was daytime. So tomorrow we are going to do another video tomorrow in the bright daylight. Because when I saw it, I'm not going to lie, I rushed and got my kids. I rushed and got my kids um, so they can see it and walk down there. And uh, Juicy Snapper says Malcolm X. One says Muggsy. Lou. <laughs> so also my kids is going to pick out of these names. So whatever names, I, it's going to be out of one of you guys' names. See the light came on now. But I'm going to see if I can. It's probably going to run the opposite direction and probably run out. I think she's pregnant too. So that's Peaches there. She already got her name. That's Peaches. Peaches. You got Charlie. Uh, Charlie is right there. Then you got Ribeye. That's big Ribeye. He's the biggest one out of all of them. But still small. Um, move, man. I'm not trying to see y'all right now. I'm trying to see my little calf. Y'all can't even see the calf no more, man. Look at this. Ah, uh, let me just get out of it because it's going to look all distorted. Sorry. God dang it. There we go. So, I'm going to try to get a close-up for you guys because I know it's nighttime and you guys got better things to do. But this is, man, this feeling just feels so, so real. Look at it. It's so small. Man. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. This is, like, heartwarming. This I remember when Charlie, this is Charlie right here, when Charlie was born, he was the exact same way, small and tiny and everything else. Charlie looks pregnant to me. But, all right, we'll get some daylight, we'll get some dogs on there, because I know you guys are like, all right, Tony, we thought you were seeing the dogs. So, I'm gonna give you guys a real insight of the dog kennels that has to be clean and what I have to do. So, this is why, I was, even on my day off, you guys, so this is technically my day off, that 
having dog kennels don't mean a day off really it just means that i'm just not accepting phone calls so i will be having at least a week coming up where my phone is going to be off i'm not going to be answering any phone calls i'm not going to be taking in and taking in any deposits i'm going to do some time for me and i'm going to do it for my family and then i'm going to actually have a vacation time so I think years and years and years without a vacation just to make sure everybody's getting these dogs and happiness, man, and putting myself first is very, very key. Very much key. So we have, who do I have out? See my kennels? What you guys see? See, I just did one kennel. I did two kennels and then I realized, um, I was getting ready to do the third one. And I realized, I saw the, um, hey buddy. Hey! It's a little female. That's uh, Sheba. We got Sheba. Then we got. Where's everybody else at? Hold up. Where is everybody? Oh, God. Left the gate open. Left the door open. So they're probably in my shop. What's up, mama? Let me cut my generator off, I mean by pressure washer off. I was told before, if I'm not using it, cut it off. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we got Sheba. What up, the Bumba? What's up, pretty girl? Bumba and these are not her puppies, by the way. That's not her puppies. She's just out. You got Kong, who just wants to run around. Goliath! Get your butt out here right now. I know you see. I knew the life was in there. I knew it. Come on. What are you doing in there, big head? What were you doing in there? What were you doing in there? Why are y'all puppies in? Oh my goodness. What did y'all take? See? This is what I gotta deal with, you guys. This is what I got to get off you. See? See, I was not even planning for this to show you guys this because this is kennel feeding time. Got trash on the ground and stuff, man. Move, move, let me get my trash. So, yeah, as I was saying, we're gonna get some. I'm gonna do some personal timing, is gonna be in there. So, you guys, uh, it's gonna be a time that you know, I'm not telling anybody to rush and try to put deposits down or anything else like that. We're not going nowhere, so take your time. Um, I got a, <laughs> I got a review that was left on my Google page. A lady said, I called him and uh, I could tell all it was about money and worried about money and he's just about money. And, <laughs> and I remember because I was like, well, listen, by me asking someone, asking you guys, what's your budget? It's not someone saying they care about money. I own a business. So I, I try to be, pro if you. Okay, so you're gonna be on my video? Come, why are you on my video, man? We got you. We understand, man. I got you. I love you too, Bubba. So, uh, me asking you guys what's your budget, I, I tell you guys all the time have a budget in mind before you call. Like, because my goal is to do just the opposite. Um, I don't want you to have a budget of 50 cents and call me about a dog, and I'm telling you, hey, these dogs are way overpriced for you, and you're like, but I can only afford 50 cents then let me just force myself to get a dog from you because I really want a quality dog. That's not the goal I'm trying to do. You see what I'm saying? I want you guys to get a dog because it's in your budget with it fits. But I just thought it was pretty hilarious to hear someone say that, man, because especially in my videos and every video I have, I tell you guys, my dogs are already sold out before they're even bred. Before, before I even decide to breed my dogs, they're already sold out, okay? So that's just the goal to show you I could be like a breeder, I could be like some breeders and just try to tell you guys a lie or just neglect to tell you guys anything about puppies being sold out just to get you to call me um, and hoping that you see cute puppies like right now. I could just show puppies and be like, oh, you guys called about this puppy, knowing this puppy's already sold out just to get you on the phone and try to persuade you to buy a dog. No, I try to tell you guys up front that we have a waiting list and you know, I don't discuss prices of my dogs on the page simply because it's different things for different folks, different strokes for different folks. And 
you know, it's just a business thing, man. Um, I try to educate people about buying dogs, um, being transparent. But I thought it was pretty funny to see that, man. Um, oh, man, this is... But either way, you guys got to see... The, anybody who's tuning in right now, you didn't get to see the little baby calf that was born when the video ends. You can go back, I guess. Or you can rewind it, I guess. I think you can do that while you're live. Um, you get to see the, the newborn calf. I will take pictures of it when it's um, daylight tomorrow. I just didn't get a chance to. Um, I didn't get a chance because it was so dark. Like I said, I was pressure washing the kennels. This is what I'm usually doing this time of the night. Just getting ready to start pressure washing all the kennels down. Getting my little bleach formula and getting it all cleaned up. Got the mama dogs and all that kind of stuff out there. None of these are the mama dogs. These are all little male. That's a female. And that's my little male puppy there. That's Ali. And they decided to jump. The big dog decided to jump over the fence. Ooh, and jump and play in the water that I was going to have set aside for the little puppies when they got there. But no, these dogs will definitely, these are not her babies, by the way. She just got good temperament with our, even when babies not hers. What's up, mama? This is, this is Scarlet. So we got Ali. I'm going to introduce you guys to Ali. That's Scarlet. And that's Sheba. So, and you got Bamba that wants to be seen. Then you got Goliath, nine month old Goliath that's been in all the pictures lately. You guys seen him on my Facebook and everything else. Stop my dog on court. See, these little puppies will, they will just never stop, I promise you. Never, ever, 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 ever stop. Uh, gotta get my little cord out there. Oh, sorry, you guys. So, I will be working on having a camera person. Um, you know, I know I'm not as fancy at getting all the camera person no. all the videos um, all the time, but uh, I'm gonna be working on that for you guys so you guys can get better, stable camera videos. Cause I know some of you guys want to see the videos from afar, not just being in my hand and have me walking and talking. And I think it's a better view as well too. I like it. And you guys have kind of seen it as well too with the videos that I have shown. Um, so, so like today, I've been working on the side by side and trying to get some stuff organized as well. Hey, you know stuff in my camera. Let them get a better view of you. So, there we go. Come on, We're going up. We going up. Hey, man, no. It's okay, Scarlet. Come on. Oh. So this is the little baby baby bear. Look at him. So if you guys have seen before, if you guys are now tuning in, um, I did show the little calf. And I did say um, someone that picks the name that I use because we're only going to use a name that one of you guys say, all right? Um, don't come with multiple names. Pick one good name per person. If you got multiple names, put a star by the one you really want. And if I use that name, I'm going to start off, because it's going to be more than just a shirt. I want to use a, I will be giving away a free t-shirt and something else. Um, maybe a discount for if you purchase a dog, or if you're already on the list, you get a discounted price. You see what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I definitely, my sons have already named the cows already because I would usually have them name it. They named one Billy, I think, for um, Power Rangers as well. Someone said BKB, but the kennel's bull. <laughs> I like that. Bro, is the, Cam is the Camaro you getting fixed up? Malcolm, stop talking about something on my page, man. Giving away, give, giving away um, the secret of information, man. That's secret. That's secret. But uh, no, it's not. Um, I do everything in my garage myself, man. You, you know that, Bubba. Uh, the name of the bull should be Bull. 
<laughs> bull. Oh, man. Me and the young bull, sky life. Me and the young bull. Who take care of your dogs when you're on vacation? We got, I got some people. Um, it's very limited though. Very, I can count on my hand how many people can actually monitor my dog or who I even trust around my dogs. It's less people on my, than on one hand. So, head like that. Um, <laughs> Bruce Willis. See those fools over there just, oh man, I'm telling you, this is my little sitting, my little sitting box, you guys. I know you guys have seen this view over and over a hundred times and I've seen it Lord over probably a million times already and it doesn't get old to me I'll I'm gonna probably put a um what's that little thing you sit on you little swing thing I can sit up here and and just lay out here man with these dogs uh to see your dreams come true baby so Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I wasn't even gonna go live with you guys, man. Um. <laughs> name him Sky Life. <laughs> Second name, the Bull Meat. <laughs> Sky crazy. <laughs> nah, I thought I saw a Camaro somewhere in a pic you posted recently. Oh no, 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 no. I don't think I posted. No, did I post? If I did, it was an accident. Well, I don't think I posted the, um, the... No, leave me alone, man. I'm, I'm giving, got me giving away information by accident. What are y'all wanting? Get my shoes. See, my shoes are not even on. My feet looking like a million bucks. Bad, so. What's up, Bubble? Come here. Hey. Hey, come here. What up, Bubble? What's up, pretty girl? If y'all could feel this hot breath right now, you guys would, man, I'm telling you, you could feel the steam hitting off these jokers. Hey! Hey! Oh. I can't turn the camera down back on me because I don't have a shirt on. i be respectful of some people, but I don't have a shirt on, so that's why I haven't turned the camera back down on me. Well, I have a shirt on, but it's a tank top, but that's it. What are you peeking at me for, man? <laughs> that's Goliath. The one that's mostly out. Kong is behind him. I want you guys to understand how big that is. Your guys seen Kong when Kong got up on the fence and everything else. See, the issue is, I have such big dogs that when you see other big dogs next to it, it make it look, they look average. But I want you to understand this. If you haven't seen the video yet, go back and watch it on my shorts. Um, on YouTube here um, Kong is the one that's leaning over the fence and he was a puppy he was leaning over the fence how big he was Goliath is nine months old now he just turned nine months like he's nine months in a day or something like that now uh, maybe a day or two days he's nine months in two days I would just say at most um, and he is he's just Goliath is just a beast, man. I can't tell you guys just how much of a beast he really is. See that? That's Kong. That's Goliath. What's up, Bubba? So I'm doing something special with Kong. You see the little thing on his neck and everything else? You guys, he got some... Uh, we got some special little things that's happening with him right now we got some special training is going to be happening with Kong that's Goliath Goliath is going to be something big man I'm telling you guys man Goliath is going to be that next it dog you know what I mean that it dog no 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 you guys listen people have asked me over and over again like when are you uh, I want a puppy off him I'm like are you have you bred him yet he's nine months old I'm not breeding a nine month old dog <laughs> so now you see how big a life is look at these puppies man I don't know how old they are right now they're like uh, 10 weeks I think and no they're not for sale 
these are my personal dogs. So people have always asked me, if they if you have a waiting list, then why do you always have puppies and stuff? Well, because I gotta I gotta fulfill the void, you know what I mean? You guys want beautiful dogs that can't breed to the whole world with just five or six dogs. You know, having a little bit of dogs ain't gonna cut it. You guys want beautiful dogs, you guys don't want a long wait time, so um you know, so I'm definitely trying to give you guys that that quality um, as well. So the kennels are dirty. Yes, these are considered dirty kennels, which I do have to go wash as well. Some of them have a little bit of stools in it, but I don't want to go to bed. Well, I never like to go to bed with stools in their kennels and then wake up in the morning, more stools and cleanliness is next to godliness. So definitely keeping it clean out here. I'm telling you, I think it's a job in itself. Just keeping it clean is, is God, dog it. Scarlet. She pulled a scarlet. She just whatever. She don't want to be bothered me even. Then you got um then you got Ali. So Ali came from Muhammad Ali. Um that's what that name just came from. Um Scarlet. Um so I usually have like I usually put like fetishes of my fetishes. Uh my celebrity crushes. Um names is what I use. So some of those and some of those are people who just inspire me um, as well, too. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. man, I'm ready for my girl so we can get, we can start working. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm ready for a monster. If you're ready for a monster, man, just uh, hit me up on Monday. Let me know. Um, I haven't decided what, when I'm going on vacation and, or just even taking my break. It may even... I may decide Monday I'm going to start next Monday, but I'm giving people enough time, you know. Um, but I'm definitely overdue for a break. I'm just going to really put the phones down, put the cameras down. I may post. Uh, no, I'm not going to post. I'm just going to really take a true break, you know what I mean? Um, allow you guys to really see what you guys want to see. Go through the videos. I'll post it. But I think we all just need to take a mental break sometimes, man. Sometimes the pressure... And don't get me wrong, it's not like a, a bad pressure. I think I put more pressure on myself than anybody could ever apply to me, ever. I think the pressure of wanting to be great and just stay great and be greater than I was yesterday takes a toll. And sometimes you just got to recharge, you know what I mean? Nothing bad. Um, so it's not taking a break because somebody makes me feel or any kind of way. Or So don't text me, you know, keep your head up, nothing like that. It's just me, man. I'm one person, and I think this here, I do more work here than somebody, you know, I don't care about nobody else, but I'm just saying this is a lot of work for one person to do. I'm going to tell you that right now. And you guys know when you call, I don't have somebody else answering my phone calls. I don't have anybody else doing the cows. I don't have anybody else, you know, dealing with the land and the house and all this kind of stuff here and, you know, the phone calls and it's all me. So I ask you guys to just be, please be patient with me um, as I'm one person. Um, I want you guys happy, excited as well, too. So I want to be happy. Happy version of me gives a better happy version to you guys as well, man. So, um, hey, Goliath, give it back. Okay, that boy ain't going to be the death of me. I'm going to tell you right there. Life. Um, I've already did my time with you guys. If you guys have not seen the introduction videos and all that kind of stuff, um, it's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. I'm closed today, so don't text me. Don't even text me after 7 p.m. to think that I'm going to respond back to you the next day. Don't call me and saying that oh, I just want to leave you a message um, so you can get back to me on the day you're open. I think that's so tacky. Um, if you want to reach me and you just have to, I mean, you can reach me on my Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger. I'm still not going to reply back until the next day, but if you call me or text me on my personal phone, I'm just going to block that number. I promise you. I don't care. Because um, dog sales isn't what I'm about, man. Now, some people are like, oh, man. I got this dog sale right now. But if you were to buy this, like, if you answer the phone, I want to buy these dogs. Oh, let me show you guys a little secret. Little, let's see some little puppies or whatever as well too. This fool is this going? See, this is what I deal with, you guys. This is what I deal with. So, 
But as I was saying was, um, yeah, Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Don't text me, don't call me or anything else, man, after that time, please. Um, let's be respectful. As you guys can see, when people are off getting ready for the next day, you don't want to be bothered on your day off and your work job is calling you, right? That's how I feel. Um, you know, it's just, I'm never going to answer the phone anyway. Um, but I'm just saying, and stop. If you're going to leave me a message, stop leaving me a message that says, hey, man, just give me a, give me a call back. That's got something important to ask you. Just ask me in my message. I'm going to be honest with you. That annoys me. I feel like, obviously, it's not that important. Because I think if it was that important, you would leave the message. Um, what it is, a detailed message about what you want. I do listen to my voice messages um, as well. So, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I'm just a person, man. One person just trying to... I'm still human, you guys. So, uh, I guess people expect me just to be all laughing and smiles every single day, all day. But I'm, I get tired, man. You probably hear it in my voice. I get tired. Um, this little... This little toot... toot uh, boat here, man. It's, it needs to be recharged sometimes. A little tugboat needs to be recharged, you know. So, uh, I want to be respectful of you guys, man. I give you guys nothing but respect. And I just hope that get your little butt off me. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> Got it. Sheba. Scarlet. Sorry, that was Scarlet. Um, but anyway. You guys, um, if you haven't seen it yet, we did have a new calf just born today. A little male calf. Um, so, I'm going to keep him as a bull. I'm not going to make him a steer. So, the difference between a bull and a steer is that basically you take away a bull's ability to reproduce. And it becomes a steer. Um, some people say you make it a steer especially it's more tender on the meat with less testosterone in the meat it tastes better but i'm not using him to eat or anything else so he's just going to be another bull on the property i guess as well so if you guys have a name for that little bull and it's a name that i use i'm going to screenshot it so i'm only going to god dog it seriously bro you're not helping your case right now this is well you're not for sale anyway but i'm just saying you're taking a butt logo I'm doing this. Got my feet all in the camera. Sorry, you guys. But um, if you guys come up with a good name that I like, uh, a little catchy name, I like a funny name. I'm going to be honest with you. I like a name that's. Sorry, you. Bro. Uh, girl, you are always in my way. Both. Um, if you guys have a beautiful name or a nice name that's catchy or something that's nice for the little male bull, I will use it. Um, I'm going to get the top three. Ow! The top three names I like. And I may even do live with my son. Let my son pick which name he chooses. Or whatever name he chooses, you guys will get a free shirt. Um, ow! Dude, stop! Go. All right. Thank you. Y'all remember, remember Sheba, okay? Sheba is... Sheba needs help. My little, my little cleanup workout, out, not workout, work outfit on. But anyway, as I was saying for the last 20th time, someone's going to get a free shirt and something free. I may do a gift card. Um, I don't know. Stop. Stop, fool. Stop. I'm gonna. You're gonna be for sale. I'm telling you. Stop. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I didn't run all your energy out. I know what I gotta do. Come here. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with you. Get over there. Yep, you in here now. Whew. Okay. So, there we got the two, the two lioness fighting again. Play fighting. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for you guys. Comment what you guys think I should give away, including the t-shirt. Um, right now, I think I only have up to 2X, I think. And they have one shirt left that way. I'm getting some more shirts in. Um, and 
You can either get a shirt or a hoodie. Shirt or or a hoodie. Um, so, and I'm going to do something at discount price for you guys getting a dog or a gift card that can be used toward the purchase of a Butler Kennels puppy or something toward Butler Kennels products or whatever. Um, something like a $500 card, $200 card, two, I don't know, something like that. So um, maybe something towards your puppy price and if you're already on the puppy list already, you can use it towards your dog that way as well. So. I sure didn't. I sure did not know it was you, Mr. Kearney. Because <laughs> I knew you ain't knew it was me. Dog on right. But I was going to let it slide. I was like, okay, I got you. Because uh, <laughs> he's like, uh, I got your next it dog. Arlen, um, yeah, you got the next it dog. But you don't want to come down to Texas and bring the dog back so people can see it. So uh, I don't know what to say. You know, maybe you find some time for us little folks. And maybe, you know, you and your wife can come on down and, you know, see the dogs and bring it. So I can see the dogs or whatever. Uh, once we buy a male dog from you, can they be a stud at your kennel? Yeah, my kennel, you could be a stud for you, but not a stud in my kennel. I mean, I got enough male dogs. I mean, I wouldn't need a stud, honestly. Um, but, you know, never say never. I mean, you could always use it if you, if need be. I mean, if you want that to be as... I would say the options are endless, guy. Everyone needs a mental health break. I take one once a month. Shoot, Lord! If I could take one once a month, I would be like, man, that'll be good. Me and them hot wings. <laughs> I think it was a chicken. I think I like hot wings for a chicken. Stop biting my freaking. See, y'all don't. They ain't both gonna sit down and act like they didn't do anything while just biting my cord for the pressure washer. See that? Ali, Scarlet. Um, let me see. Said I like the name Swirl. <laughs> I like that. So he's chocolate with, I mean, he's brown with all white face. Oh, I'm just going to take a picture for you guys tomorrow. So maybe the picture, seeing a picture of him is going to probably help you guys. So I'm going to post a picture. If you guys haven't done so yet or don't know how to do it, I use, I can post pictures on YouTube. So you guys click on that picture. Um, and then give you guys a vote that way. I'm gonna do it that way. So I'm gonna post a picture of him Give me your guys name. You can do it here and you can do it on the picture But I think the picture is gonna I'm gonna pull from one of it So if you put it on here you can put it on there as well too. come up with one name per person um, If you come in multiple names just put a star by the one you really want because that's what I'm gonna use uh, Let his name Let's name him tomahawk. I like that. I just had a tomahawk too for the first time. Well, third time second or third time i like that <laughs> it goes with the sirloin ribeye and stuff i like that <laughs> um if i win the belt <laughs> or should i probably put the belt no i can't put the belt up for a cow name now i can't do that now i give a discount on something else uh, that, that's, that belt is sensitive that, that's something for uh, maybe if you win the name and you're on my list, then yeah, you know what I mean? Maybe I can do something like that. You know, I'll give to those who give back. So, appreciate Chulo Money Bag. <laughs> Hollywood Kennels, Georgia. What's up, Bubba? Uh, they got a video coming out too as well, too. Hollywood Kennels came on and got their dog. Uh, so we'll be getting the second dog. Oh, I forgot. You better hit me up too as well. Hit tomorrow. Hit me up tomorrow. I got you. You guys, Jerry, what's going on, Bubba? Domingo, I like it. I like it. Trying to answer you guys' questions. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm ready for a monster. Da, 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 da. So, I need to get back to pressure watching these dog kennels, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's getting late. I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> Which I won't be going to bed anytime soon because I still got to clean up inside the garage and then pick these little doggies up, give them a little snack before bedtime. <sighs> Sorry, can't go that way. So, appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. I'm about to crank my music loud as I don't know what. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna be so loud. My neighbors can hear it in their house. Why you ask? 
I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Or am I? But anyway, uh, I really hope you guys, uh, yeah, give me those names, man. Um, tell me what you guys think. Kong Goliath. Kong Goliath. Um, the Bumbo. The Bumbo Kong Goliath. Y'all all out the way. So, uh, there we have it, man, you guys. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it, man. Hope you guys, um, Michael King, South Kakalaki. See, I know my clients, man. So I know where you're from and everything else. I remember names. I know who people are. They're like family. Uh, Mike's got another dog. Mike's got with two dogs for me. But you guys, I appreciate you guys for all the um, repeat clients that's getting more than one dog from us. I appreciate you guys' patience. I appreciate you guys uh, rocking with your boy um, all the way. That's you know from a Charleston, Charleston Linian boy. Um, that's here in Texas, the beautiful state of Texas. You guys have been rocking with me, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, um, definitely want to uh, say that. I can't tell you guys enough what that really means to me. You know, it's, I don't take it for granted. I know I say it every day, but, you know, I'll say it as much time as needed to be. Be getting all these new subscribers. If you guys are watching this and haven't subscribed yet, man, please, please, please go and subscribe please um do that for your boy um the support is magnificent um we have over 44,000 followers on facebook i think we're at what 11,000 on instagram uh youtube and just whatever um just thank you guys man i don't care if it's three followers i appreciate you guys really really means a lot um, so I hope you guys are being good, being blessed, treat each other right. And on this beautiful Sunday, getting your rest in for Monday, getting prepared for the Monday blues. You guys already know, um, smoke, smoke, smoke done got what three dogs from us and waiting for his fourth one. Um, smoke got, smoke has four dogs, got three from us and got, well, he got four beautiful dogs, man. He got Pac, Jada, um, no, he got two, th he's getting a third one from us, look, man, Smoke got a lot of dogs, man, look, <laughs> do you have people coming in your backyard trying to steal a pup, what, what, first of all, is if you're trying to steal a, man, look, <laughs> you gotta get past that first, which is always on me, um, secondly, uh, my dogs is not, don't, don't get it twisted now, see, look at that, if they think somebody's out there, look at that, <laughs> Speaking of which, like I said, man, um, don't don't get the butler kennel dogs are soft or you can come in my yard and take a dog if you think so. Uh, if they see something, it's, yeah, just ask Big Boss and Big Boss got here, man, you know what I'm saying, or when clients try to see for themselves about the dog, so let you guys see um, for sure. <laughs> he'll tell you <laughs> but i don't my dogs are not my dogs are very temperament the temperaments are awesome but my dogs are able to be protective when need be and when they're supposed to be not just a vicious dog that want to bite everybody and i'm very particular about showing certain videos of people seeing my dogs in that kind of light because i think it gives off the negative it gives off the wrong um thought process because somebody may see a dog doing bite work and automatically assume oh that was aggressive because i've seen it on comments all the time where people are like oh man seeing those kind of dogs doing bite work and why would you train a dog to be mean and all that kind of stuff and you guys see my kids are with the dogs all the time and everything else but that's for another story another time as well um get you on that as well but huh but no, I don't worry about people stealing my dogs. We appreciate you, brother, and your hard work. Exceptional. Best of the best. I appreciate you, Mike. Definitely, definitely appreciate you, bro. Uh, just learned Texas time zone is only an hour behind the East Coast. I was wondering why it was pitch black out there. LOL. <laughs> uh, salute to you, Tony. Ow. Salute to you, Tony, my brother. The real Aaron Collins. I appreciate you, bro. Salute back to you. Um, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to work, man. And get these faces all in my face. Wonder why they all in my face. Get off my feet. Get off my fetuses. Stop stepping on my fetuses. All right, I'm gonna get to work, you guys. Um, sorry, I don't have the perfect, you know, attire and all that kind of stuff, but I'm working. Hope you guys are being good. Appreciate you guys, man. Thanks for stopping by. And our channel, as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be showing the little calf, um, the male calf. We have a little bull. Um, Ow! Bull! Now you gonna bite me too? <sighs> See? Ow! All right, I'm being attacked, man. So, <laughs> stop. How'd you get out? Hold up. How in the world did you get out? Hold up. I knew something was wrong. Hold on. <laughs> What in the world? Ow! Did you climb? This dog just... Ow! Okay. Let me see. How did you get out? I want to see this again, man. I want to see how this dog got out. I want to miss... Oh, you don't want to get out now? You're on the camera now? Now your camera shot? Oh, oh, there it is. Whoa. <laughs> you skip convict. You guys see this little skip convict? Bro, we can see you. Find the lower spot. Do you guys see this? See, I've been like, what in the world? How did you get out? Now you know the puppies are too big. Ten week old puppy doing this already, you guys. Wow. I hate you. <laughs> I got a little escape convict, man. You guys. Listen, Jerry, come get this joker. <laughs> Aaron, stop laughing and come and get it. <laughs> wow. Ow. Sky, you can't be having like 20 names now. I don't see in three. Ow. You got put. Ow. All right, I mean, ow. You gotta stop, man. Like, it's morning here, 6 a.m. Where is here? Where are you? Where are you from, you guys? Let's see. Where are you from? That's at 6 o'clock in the morning. God. Okay. I know who I will be putting it into bite work. Ow. I should have known that too, though. Ow. Dude. Listen, you got it. Come here. Get your big self here. Why are you being bad? Why are you being bad, ma'am? Don't be licking on me. Let them see you now. Yep. It's not a him. It's a girl on top of that. Sorry, I got this little puppy. Make it seem like I'm just pushing the puppies down. That's it. We're going back in the kennels anyway. Let's go. But no, we moved all the dolls and switch them out all the time, back and forth. And some are in the house, some out here, some stays inside there, some inside there, some inside here, some inside there. Ow! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> You're embarrassing for the camera, man. Stop! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, man, I'm telling you guys. All right, I'm out. Bro, stop. Leave me alone. Stop. No, you. Stop. Pit back. Move. Leave me alone. Nairobi, Kim, Kenya. All the way from Kenya. Hold on. My leg feels like she's been biting my leg the whole time. But, my little sweetheart. Yeah, she gets extra attention. <laughs> now, these are different dogs for different reasons and every dog has its temperament for what it is and that's why when you guys call, 
uh, you always see the person that's not everybody wants to see him go. Um, I don't want a house full of just laid back dogs. I don't want a house full of just really active dogs. So I got to keep a mixture for everybody um, and all that kind of stuff as well. Who's your biggest boy? Who's your biggest dog by? Wait. I'll never say my dog's waiting. Who's the biggest? I can kill. That's a bug, honestly. Um, even though I got a whole. Even though I have a whole dog scale. Tell you guys. See. Well, you guys know how unprepared I am. Yes, I know. It's not as clean. Well, I guess it is pretty clean. Kind of clean. But whatever. See? I have a whole weight scale right here for the dogs and all that kind of stuff. Oh. See, it does work. Oh, I guess it doesn't work because it's not plugged in. But anyway, you get the idea. I do have a weight scale for this here. Doesn't have any batteries in it, so I'm using this here. And push the button, and the scale works. See, step on the weight scale. That's how much I weigh. I'm not really stepping on it all the way. Let's put my foot on it. So, it goes up to... I don't know how much it goes up to, but it goes up to a lot. But I don't... Even though I have a scale, it costs a good pretty penny for the scale as well. It's not a big thing to care about who's the biggest dog and all that kind of stuff, man. I've never been a good that way. I, I get the dogs for... Because you can have a... Biggest right-sized dog and not what you're looking for. I'll take the dog that's not, and, not and, and this is a guy that's coming from where you guys know who has quality size dogs. Like, I mean, um, if you see all my dogs, you see the quality of my dog size, but why your tail is so fast? Slow down, Kong, I got you. Um, I definitely got you guys, man. Um, them dogs are real big. You see nothing on camera, you would be a fool to try and steal. Trust me, I've seen with my own eyes. <laughs> Trust me, if you guys see Arlen dog, shoot, that dog is a beast. <laughs> um, you know, move, bro. But, yeah. Also, the dogs ain't even a problem you coming here with. This is Texas. So I license to carry. I do have a gun license as well, but you don't need one, but. I do protect because I don't know if you're coming to get a dog, coming to hurt my family or whatever. And I trust me, I give it all I got. And I don't do warning shots simply because the price of bullets is too high to be just doing warning shots. So I will say that. But needless to say, I don't really need to. The dogs will handle themselves, <laughs> if anything else there. Um, but thank you guys all the time, man. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I've been saying that for the longest and it's 48 minutes into this video. You guys have been with your boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am off, man. Um, excuse me, I gotta go pressure wash and hopefully back up, back up. Hopefully, um, Sheba leaves me alone. All right, I really hope so. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> She said yes, but they're in the cage. <laughs> if you don't think my dogs can get up the cage, <laughs> yeah, just because they're in the, just like I said, you you guys watch the video when Big Boss comes, you'll see. Uh, with a command, my dogs can get up the kennels. Um, but people who came to my kennel, who bought dogs from me, knows that. But uh, you know, just because they're in the kennels, don't mean they can't get out. Just know that. Definitely know that. Um, but they get out on command, not just break out because they're so, they, they know they're not supposed to. But that's all in the training. Uh, you know, you guys see anybody that's on my page that's commenting, that's been here, they'll tell you, yeah, they get out on command. Um, that's why a lot of times, man, um, a lot of training videos I'm doing with my dogs, it's a lot of training. These isn't, this isn't something I'm just like, oh, come outside, play, play for a little bit, and that's it. Here, play with that. There you go. Goodness gracious. But yes, um Oh, 
I am one of your subscribers and a Rockwaller owner, but unfortunately with not as good genetics as yours. But my dream is to one day buy a Rockwaller from you. Ah, you guys, I appreciate you guys. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, we have the best of the best and I appreciate you guys that's wanting to see our dogs and you know, you want that kind of quality for your yard and I want, I want my quality dogs in everybody's yard. Um, you know, it would be a be a nice thing. Um, but we do have a waiting list and we do offer a payment plan, you guys. So just don't ask me, what's your payment plan? You know, that's, and I hate those questions, man. People ask me how much. If you just text me how much, I promise you I will not answer. I hate that. Introduce yourself, say something, you know, speak something. I mean, it's just rude to go to, like, you're not going to an interview and just be like, how much y'all charging? I mean, how much y'all paying? How much? Like that's ugh. even in a text, like how much is just wrong on all levels. Um, let's be business, man. I own a business. This is not something that's just I don't know, but it's not a it's a true legitimate LLC business. If you're gonna ask a question, ask me the right way. You know what I mean? What it is, or introduce yourself when you're calling me. Don't just go hello. Yeah, man, I want this and, and go talk for 20 minutes. Like, introduce yourself, who you talking to, who, you, who, who am I talking to, what are you looking for, and then we can have a conversation, man. Um, getting 100 calls a day and people just kind of one way, it's, I'm just trying to educate people how to talk to people the right way. At least for me, what I would like. I'm not telling anybody what you have to do, but if you want to get a dog from me, and uh, I think it's just proper to introduce yourself when you're calling. Um, that's it. I mean, really, that's about it. Nothing really too crazy. Uh, Tony, are you taking a break? I will be taking a break. Um, I'm definitely taking me a personal break. Uh, the dogs will always be here. I'm never going away from the dogs. Um, I just, man, you got 17 years of doing this stuff, man. I'm not really taking it. I think I probably can count... On my hand, maybe one or two vacations. That's crazy. Um, so when you guys are like understanding why people prices are what they are and the sacrifice that people give to have this, this is like for instance, when somebody may see just a puppy, what I see is the struggles and the time that it took for me to build and to get here, and you know the sleepless nights and the arguments and everything else to be where I'm at today, so I can provide this puppy to you. Well, you may see, oh, I see a puppy. Why are the prices this way? And, and quite frankly, um, <laughs> I think the funniest statement ever is people called me and said, man, you got the best looking dogs, man. The best looking dogs. Uh, man, I found a, I found some dogs over here, man, like for $1,500. Why, why yours cost more than that? Because <laughs> you just said it best looking dogs you've seen and you wonder you think i'm gonna have the best looking dogs and you think a ferrari's gonna sell for for a honda price come on man you guys know better than that so um but we do offer a payment plan for those we understand everybody can't just drop a load sum full of money all at one time and we don't expect you to but if you are wanting a quality dog and you have patience and you want to have that then give us a call monday through saturday 9 a.m to 7 p.m which I think I'm going to be closed on Sundays and Mondays. I, someone told me that, and I think I like that idea. Uh, Sundays and Mondays, just be closed on those days. Because Saturday is going to be a day. Um, having one day off is crazy. I mean, giving almost 12 hours a day every single day is... That's one of the reasons why I stopped the dog food, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Dog food sales were crazy. I mean, it was going through the roof. Um my mental state was going down like rapidly stressing out crazy um business is always it's not about money because it was about money i could be selling everything for crazy um but i want to give you guys i want my clients to look at their dogs and feel like they cheated me you know what i mean um which is what i like about some of the people who bought dogs from me and start their kennels and they're like tony Man, I would have paid quadruple the amount of price I paid for this dog, what this dog is doing for me now. But, you know, it's up in there as well. Mm. 
Uh, um, so if you guys want to give me a call, it's 843-670-3346. I know it's a South Carolina number, but I'm located in Texas. But in Texas, I've only been breeding in Texas. So if you read about somebody someplace else breeding dogs, I don't know who they are. But I've only bred dogs in Texas. That's it. Period. Um, I've never bred in Georgia, South Carolina, nothing else, just Texas, so, um, but that's it, so, anyway, I'm going, see you later, guys later, man, love you guys, appreciate you guys stopping by, messing with your boy, and I gotta get to work, love you guys, I'm out.